What's up, everyone? It's Joseph Green Dentistry back with another man. Man, man, too much, too much, too much. What's good, everyone? It's Joseph Green Dentistry back with another video. I know it's been a while, but we're back. I'm happy to say we finally hit 100 subscribers. So I want to just say I appreciate everyone watching. I appreciate everyone subscribing to my channel. I know I don't upload that much. I'm trying to upload more. Dental school's been picking up, but it's coming along. And I'm really trying to get more content out for you guys. Now, with all that being said, in today's video, we're gonna be talking about what's that magic number for the DAT? What DAT score you need to get into dental school? Disclaimer though, this magic number is different. It just depends on what type of applicant you are. So I'm gonna go through some averages for the DAT scores, and I'm also gonna talk about what you should get depending on what type of applicant you are. So based off of some averages, the average DAT score for everyone in the country that takes it is around a 17. The average score for applicants that get into dental school is a 19. So you can see the difference is around two points and some may be thinking that's not that bad but the score between the 17 and the 19 is actually completely different the distance between those two numbers is actually a lot i'm not too sure how they calculate it but i do know that most dental schools will ask for around a 19 and the 17 will be too low for them so just keep that in mind so i would say for a normal applicant with normal stats good averages for GPA, a decent amount of volunteer hours, some leadership positions, I would say you would need a 19 on your DAT. But there's variables that come into play. Let's just say your GPA was around a 3.2 or 3.3. I would say you would need around a 20, 21 on your DAT. Now let's say your GPA is a 4.0. In that case, you don't need the strongest DAT score. You would just need around a, maybe an 18. It's like a sliding scale. Dental schools look at everything. They look at your GPA, your DAT, your extracurriculars. So if one is higher than the other, it can balance out. And of course, if you have a GPA around a 3.5 to 3.8, a 19 should be enough. Again, they're not expecting you to make 30s in every section. They're just expecting you to score good enough to show that you have enough knowledge to get you through the dental school curriculum. One more thing that you can look into that can kind of help you determine what schools to apply to based off of your DAT score is what is the averages of DAT scores from accepting students at that school. So for example, at UC Health, the school that I go to, the average DAT score was about a 22, which is on the higher spectrum versus there are schools like Meharry and Howard who have a bit lower DAT averages amongst their students. I believe their average was around a 17. And that's not to say that it was easier to get in. That just means that these applicants, maybe they had a higher GPA, maybe they had more extracurriculars on their application, who knows? But that's just something that you can consider when trying to determine what magic number you need to get into dental school. So that's it for today's video. I've been working on this how I study for my DAT video for a long time. I recorded it a couple of times. I didn't like how it came out. I'm still working on it, but I will get it out soon. I know DAT season is coming up. People want to know how other dental students study for theirs. So I'm going to try and get it up as soon as possible. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video for now. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, again, thank you for 100 subscribers and I'm out.